Okay, so from this, it would grow into this. Um, what I'm thinking is that uh, a single square is wide enough for a wagon to pass through. And to have you know, serious heavy industry going on, and, and especially commerce, you would need at least two lanes. Um, so, uh, you know, just a radical change within the community would have to develop. Um, and just the size of individual shops and other specialized structures would, would depend on whatever uh, sort of mechanism was there. Uh, but again, it's not the size that matters so much. It's more about how many people can you get into a square uh, and how many, or like what's the skill level of that person there. So the larger the community, uh, the more skilled and especially the higher skill personnel you can develop. Um, but you need to have the income to support that. You need to have the population to support that as well because uh, you can have a, a, like a jewelry maker, but the thing is you need to have a lot of people making a lot of money in order for jewelry to be profitable. So that sort of aspect of the gameplay would come in. Um, and then you can have things like alleys you know, built into the, the, the landscape. Um, so this is, this is like the end product of all or like if the NPC mayor had just been allowed to go on his way uh, and the community would just kind of uh, continue to sprawl outwards from this and you know follow this sort of uh, grid-like makeup I think um, so but that's my concept of how the landscape would be uh, so now imagine that, uh, hey, you know, so if you're a player and you want to come in and purchase a piece of property, or you want to play as a thief and you want to snake in, go in through an alleyway, maybe climb up on top of some of these buildings and run around on top of them. So different things like that. And then uh, don't forget that the player, him, you know, him or herself could also design the layout of this community and decide which goes where. Um, and this is just if there's an ideal flat piece of land, no, nothing in the way, nothing to interfere with uh, the growth and progression of the community. If there was a water uh, way of some sort, uh, that would be something different. Then on top of that, uh, potentially, I don't know, but I don't know if the engine would be able to handle it, you could have a subterranean uh, level below this uh, for sewers, but uh, I don't know. That's <laughs> another aspect of gameplay which would have to be explored. Um, but yeah, this is where I think, uh, I don't know, that's an idea of where it could go from.